We are standing in the jungle right now, and I like to say that this is the calm before the storm. It is going to be loud and rambunctious and crazy with all the fans that have been waiting. Well, the jungle, you know, growing up in Fort Wayne, uh, coming to Comic Games myself, the, the jungle is something that's been around for a while. You know, it uh, originated, I believe, in a, in a playoff series where it just got really loud and they started calling it the jungle, and it's kind of stuck with us ever since. Obviously this town loves hard-nosed physical hockey. It's a blue-collar town and that's the type of hockey that they like and you know when you give them that type of product uh, the louder the building will get. You know Fort Wayne the history of our fan base and the fact that you know we always no matter what league we go into we're always right at the top two you know in league attendance speaks for itself so you know for, for us our fans are always the best. I'm actually relatively new to the hockey world. We got a couple free tickets from a coworker and um, been going to the Comets game since about basically 2012. There's a lot of history here, essentially. I mean, there's only seven other teams that have been playing in the same city in North America uh, outside of the Comets. And then obviously 63 years in just this season, I was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. I come by myself sometimes just because you always find friends, fans, you know, fans bond together and that's how we that's how we stick together. I think as close as we are to the players and everything like that, uh, fans can really impact, the players can hear us chant and we can always push to get the team to play better when we're down. You know, when you can get the fans uh, excited about something during the game, you know, whether it's a big hit or a fight or a shot block or a big goal, you get the fans going and, and the, the players feed off of that. I've been a Comets fan since I was born. My dad was very interested in hockey and he even remembers as a little kid sitting in the jungle um, for all of the games and so that kind of fueled his interest into hockey. For some of my first games we sat down lower and so when we'd come in we'd always want to run up to the top just so you could see what it looked like, like the bird's eye view because it's just so breathtaking. During warm-ups, one of my favorite players um, threw me a puck from warm-ups and that's always a huge deal when you're a little kid to get one of the pucks. It just makes you feel so special. So that's definitely one of my favorite memories. Last year after we went to the Children's Hospital, um, there was a high school wrestler, I believe he went to Homestead, that we visited up at the Children's Hospital and um, uh, was paralyzed. And um, hopefully he's doing better now, but we took a picture uh, with that with with that uh, particular kid and uh, the parent uh, came to the next game with the picture and uh, brought it down to us and we all autographed it for the family and interacted with the family after the game and it was a pretty rewarding experience. As I was a child what drew me in to hockey one of my first words was Bezo and that was a comment player back in the 90s was Andy Bezo. He was a small guy, liked to fight, um, <laughs> didn't always win but he had the he had the oomph to try it every time. Looking back on my baby pictures on a Comets onesie, that's as early as I can remember.